Thank you for buying Robomo from Friendly Robotics, the simplest, safest, and most convenient way to maintain your lawn. It's simple. Robomo will automatically depart from its base station on the days and at the times you have scheduled, mow your lawn, and return for charging. It's convenient. Robomo gives you free time for other, more productive things. Robomo is an advanced battery-powered electric mulcher, making it environmentally friendly as well. Robomo will cover the entire lawn, including mowing along the edges. There is no pre-programming necessary. Your Robomo mulches the lawn and buries the small clippings into the grass, creating a natural, healthy soil nutrient, while eliminating the need to collect the clippings. Robomo. It mows. You don't. It's important to read and understand all operating and safety instructions in the manual before operating Robomo. Robomo comes fully prepared. Only a few easy tasks need to be performed in order to enable its operation. All the accessories needed to set up Robomo on your lawn are supplied with the product. The following are included with Robomo. Base station, perimeter wire, pegs, robo ruler, power supply, two metal pegs for the base station, operating and safety manual. The first step is to determine the best location for the base station on your lawn. Set it in the biggest plot or zone. It is recommended to place the base station in a shady spot, in the backyard, where it is not visible to the street. Do not place it on a slope or too close to a corner or sprinkler. The distance between a receptacle and the base station is limited. If the distance is too far, contact a qualified electric professional to install a power source within the specified distance. It is also possible to locate the base station outside the lawn. Refer to the external base chapter in your manual. Starting at the base station location, pull the wire ends with a plot connector out of the plastic covering. Peg the beginning of the wire to the ground where the base station will be located. Be sure to leave 30 centimeters 12 inches to close the loop at the end of the setup. Start laying the wire counterclockwise, laying it loosely along the lawn edges. Start setting the perimeter wire by placing pegs every few meters and at the lawn corners. Use the robo ruler provided to set the correct distance from the lawn edge as shown. Upon hammering the peg to its final depth in the ground, pull the wire tight. It's essential that the peg's head is hammered below ground level. Use the entire length of the robo ruler as wall edge, as shown. Remember that you will want to test the wire setup before you fill in additional pegs. Use the robo ruler for accurate placement of the wire when bypassing obstacles at the lawn edges. When the edges of obstacles are too low or too soft to be detected by Robomo bumpers, use the perimeter wire to create a perimeter island around the obstacle. Both wires leading to the perimeter island should be parallel and touching. Apply the same method for flower beds, young trees and ponds. After pegging the wire all around the lawn, join the beginning and the end wires. Proper setup of the wire will assure better performance of your Robomo. Please refer to the perimeter wire setup chapter in your operating and safety manual for more details. The last step to complete is attaching the perimeter wire ends to the base station board. Once laying the perimeter wire is completed and pegged to the ground, 
The last step to complete is attaching the perimeter wire ends to the base station board and testing the setup. There are two loose wire ends where the perimeter wire setup was started. Use the same peg to fasten these two perimeter wire ends down to the ground and twist them. Cut the wire end without the connector so they are of equal length. Discard any excess wire. Strip back 6 mm of insulation from the wire end. Insert the free perimeter wire into hole of connector using a small flat screwdriver. Tighten the screw to secure the perimeter wire into the connector. Connect the perimeter wire connector to the base station board. Carefully lay the length of the cord out, beginning from the base station and leading to the main power supply and ensure it is fastened securely to the ground so it does not present a tripping hazard. Connect the power supply cord to the base station board. Route the power supply cord into the base station cover. Close the cover of the base station, confirm it is locked well in its place. Align the base station on the perimeter wire, so the wire is aligned with the two central lines marked at the front and rear side of the base station. Connect the power supply to a regular household receptacle. A small flashing green light in the base station cover indicates the system is on and functioning properly. To set the cutting height, lift the bumper cover and rotate the cutting height adjustment knob. To connect the fuse, remove the strip and insert the fuse together with its cover. Robomo will now wake up. There is enough energy for the setup. However, it is required to fully charge Robomo for 16 hours before the first operation. Language, time and date settings. These are the first settings you will be required to set. Simply follow the guided instructions on the LCD and press either of the buttons as needed. Weekly program. Choose the area size of the zone connected to the base station. Robomo will automatically set the suitable weekly program. Follow the menu instructions. For advanced weekly program options, refer to your operating and safety manual. Testing the base station and perimeter wire position. Position Robomo inside the lawn towards the perimeter wire, at least two meters from the base station, and press the go button. If the power supply is not connected to the receptacle, a no wire signal message will be displayed on the LCD upon pressing go reminding you to connect it. If the perimeter wire is connected in the opposite direction, change wires in plot connector message will be displayed. Switch between the two wires connected to the plot connector. Follow the instructions to complete the test of the base station position. Slightly move the base station so Robomo will dock in the base station as centered as possible. Once it is positioned properly, fasten it in place using the two stakes. It is now time to test the wire position. Walk along Robomo as it is following the edge until completing one loop of the perimeter without striking an object. Walk back along the perimeter and add in wire pegs to those areas of the wire where it is not pulled down below the level of the grass tips and close to ground level. Perimeter switch location. Find a convenient spot outside the perimeter of the non-base zone, but a location that is relatively easy for you to access. The perimeter switch must be mounted vertically in order to maintain its water resistance and preferably in a dry and sheltered location. 
close to a wall socket. The perimeter switch is supplied with an indoor power supply. Press the on button to operate it. It may be necessary to set up more than one zone in order for your robo mode to work effectively over the entire lawn. Having two or even three zones does not affect the efficiency of the robo mode. Where grass areas are not contiguous or are separated by fences or other objects, it is also recommended to make each of these a separate zone. The key is to set up the zones that will allow Robomo to operate with the greatest efficiency in multiple zone lawns. Typical three plot setup solution. Locate the base station in the backyard and wire all around the three zones as one loop. Robomo will take care of the base zone automatically using the weekly program. To mow the front zones, simply take Robomo to the desired zone and press the green Go button on your Robomo. Wires leading to the next plot are parallel and touching. The gap between them is for illustration only. Another option for this very same lawn is to have two separate loops. First, locate the base station and wire the backyard as your base zone. The front zones will be operated using a perimeter switch. You may purchase it as an accessory. Mount the perimeter switch on a wall or on its stake, making sure it is vertical to the ground. If there is no physical barrier between the back and front yard or part of the front yard and the path is wide enough for Robomo to move freely from one to another, the front yard may be included in the base zone. The entire base zone will automatically be mowed on the days and times you schedule. Zone B is looped separately and the perimeter wire will be activated using the perimeter switch. To transport between plots, Take Robomo away from the base station, turn the main switch off and carry it to the desired plot. For easy transport, you may purchase a remote control offered as an accessory. If additional wire is required to complete the wire setup, use the connectors provided with the product. Strip 1.5 centimeters, half an inch, of each wire ends together. Twist the stripped ends together and screw the silicone-filled wire nut on the twisted ends. Make sure it's tight. Your Robomo will depart from its charging station at the days and times you have scheduled. Depending on how you lay the wire, your Robomo will precisely cut the edge of the lawn, avoiding obstacles. After mowing around the edges, Robomo will turn left into the lawn and continue mowing across the lawn. The perimeter wire set around the tree's flower bed as a perimeter island will stop Robomo from entering this area. Robomo will mow around all kinds of obstacles since it changes direction whenever it hits a side perimeter wire. Firm objects will be recognized by the bumper and do not need to be placed within perimeter islands. Robomo will continue mowing in different directions until the end of its designated work time. Good looking lawns are achieved by operating Robomo frequently. Please refer to your operating and safety manual for additional information. Manual start. This mode can be used in addition to or instead of the weekly program and allows mowing at times other than when programmed or mowing when the lawn is occupied and the yard must be cleared of debris, objects, pets or people first. Press the go button once to mow the edge and the inner area of your lawn. 
or press the Go button twice to skip the edge and mow the inner area only. Manual mowing is useful for small grassy areas where automatic operation is not possible. Always walk behind Robo Mow. Using a remote control, activate the mowing motor. When the mowing motor starts, steer your Robo Mow using the navigator. Releasing the manual mow button will stop the mowing motor. This remote control is available as an accessory. Contact your local dealer or visit Robo Mow website. Now you're ready to enjoy your free time while your Robomo looks after your grass. Your lawn will automatically be mowed quietly and accurately. It mows, you don't. And here are some safety tips. Never let Robomo operate without supervision. Always remove the fuse before lifting Robomo or attempting any service or adjustment. Be sure to read the operating and safety manual. Keep children, pets and bystanders outside of the cutting area. Never leave Robomo unattended while operating. Do not sit or ride on the Robomo. Remove objects from the cutting area that can be thrown by the blade. Keep hands and feet away from the Robomo while operating. Robotic mowers, like other power tools, may be dangerous if used improperly or if safety instructions are ignored. Read carefully and follow all safety instructions in the Operating and Safety Manual. For more information, see the Operating and Safety Manual. You are also welcome to visit Robomo website. <laughs>